प्लीज वॉच द फुल रिव्यू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू फिल्म कंपेनियन इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू सेपरेट टॉम क्रूज इज रियल लाइफ पर्सोना फ्रॉम हिज एक्शन हीरो कैरेक्टर्स मैन हु स्केल द टॉलेस्ट बिल्डिंग्स इन द वर्ल्ड डैंगल ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ प्लेन्स एंड ब्रेक इन टू अंडर वाटर वर्ल्ड विदाउट एन ऑक्सीजन टैंक ऑल वेल द एक्टर प्लेइंग दैम इंसिस्ट ऑन परफॉर्मिंग दी स्टंट हिमसेल्फ सफर्स ब्रोक इन बोन्स एंड लर्न हाउ टू होल्ड हिज ब्रेथ फॉर ओवर सिक्स मिनट्स Maverick, a naval pilot who first appeared in the 1986 film Top Gun, is the kind of man who can shrug off a near-death experience early on in its sequel, just as easily as Cruise shrugs on a jacket from a film he shot 36 years earlier. It's hard not to see the character who seeks to be immortalized by his exploits as he runs faster, flies further, and pushes harder as an extension of Cruise's on-screen longevity. But Top Gun Maverick is as much about the thrill of the moment. as it is about the weight of the past the film propels itself forward furiously hitting max speeds higher than ever thought possible jeez have any fun yet but that doesn't mean it doesn't occasionally look over its shoulder at what it's left behind for all the film talks about letting go it also understands why maverick can't The familiar ghosts of regret and heartbreak return to haunt the character. Once driven by the need for speed, his career has ground to a standstill as he refuses to accept either a promotion or retirement. If the first movie's turning point came as the idealistic young pilot was paralyzed by the death of an old friend, the second follows a veteran pushed into action once more in service of the country's youth. sent back to the top gun program maverick must train a group of pilots for a mission considered impossible to survive while many of the group members play variations of the cocky hotshot pilot persona the two standouts are hangman played by glen powell and rooster played by miles teller who is the son of maverick's late friend goose the hangman rooster rivalry mirrors that of the iceman maverick combo just one of the many ways in which the film references its predecessor at various points the camera glides lovingly over old mementos and splices in old footage there's even a team building game of beach football that echoes the volleyball sequence of the first film top gun maverick however isn't so much an exercise in nostalgia as a wistful comment on the passage of time maverick is repeatedly reminded that he is obsolete iceman's words of support are now typed rather than said The character's loss of speech resulting from actor Val Kilmer's battle with throat cancer. And while the film replicates past sequences, it also builds on them in meaningful ways. Director Joseph Kosinski, who previously directed Tron sequel Tron Legacy, gave the franchise emotional heft by centering it around a complicated father-son relationship. He returns to familiar themes here. There's a scene in which Rooster plays balls of fire at a bar piano, the same way his late father did. only this time it works hurt rather than amusement a reminder of the friend maverick has lost and the surrogate son he might not be able to save another scene in which maverick flips his plane upside down to confront rooster is reminiscent of him performing the same maneuver to flip off a rival pilot in the first top gun only here the gesture isn't performed the charged anger of the two pilots locked in a face off is enough to underscore their fraught history my dad believed in you i'm not going to make the same mistake Kusinski has always been adept at locating moments of humanity in the harshest of environments. Think of the cold digital grid of Tron Legacy, the barren wasteland that Earth has become in the future in Oblivion, or the California landscape ravaged by wildfires in Only the Brave. Even here, he crafts an obstacle course for the pilots that's staggering in its difficulty level, even as he simultaneously excavates a more emotional terrain. Maverick is repeatedly told that his students might never return, so he is also forced to confront the kinds of losses that aren't the result of planes being shot down. The film piles on the mission stakes: a ticking clock, the punishing force of gravity, enemy missiles, and narrow enclosures that the pilots must maneuver their planes through. The beauty and the ruggedness of the natural landscape spin into a disorienting blur, until the only view that matters is the one from inside the cockpit. The technical jargon doesn't fade into the background as gibberish only because of how compelling the visuals paired with it are. The camera pushes into the pilots' sweat-slicked faces. Their bulging eyes and choked gasps convey the toll that gravity takes on their bodies. It's a visceral experience. Every cock screw that a pilot performs reverberates in the pit of your stomach. Every scene in which airborne planes flying at supersonic speeds come within an inch of smashing into each other will make your insides churn. There are stunts so breathtaking in their scope. All you can do is gasp in giddy disbelief at the audacity. 
It's exhilarating and great fun as the film grounds its sky-high thrills with a dose of humor. The actors learn two years worth of flight training in three months, which makes these stomach-churning aerial feats a testament to the wonders of old-school practical filmmaking. However, the film concedes to modern movie trends in its soul sex scene, a bland sequence that's nowhere near as erotic as the one from the first film. I just want to manage the expectations. Jennifer Connelly, playing Maverick's former girlfriend Penny Benjamin, is a charming, if underutilized, presence in a franchise defined by male bonding. There are points at which the film points out the fragility of the human body, especially compared to the durability of the machines being piloted. By the end, however, people endure. The characters keep fighting, if only because they don't want to regret the consequences of walking away. And the film leaves you with the impression that as long as Cruise is around, those fights will be some of the finest to be captured on film. You can watch Top Gun Maverick in theatres now.